Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2, where we have just recently started infiltrating this Batarian prison facility, uh, trying to save a Dr. Amanda Canson, who claims to know something about the Reaper invasion that we also know is coming. I mean, we as a player, because we've seen it. Shepard can only guess, I suppose. Um, a power to something. Oh. That was a later laser grid, right? So that means we can now climb up there. Hmm, okay, there's also a door. And stop. And another door. Well, this seems disconnected from the rest somehow. Yeah, okay, it's also not the direction indicated by the game, so... Let's go this way. No enemies on the radar. Okay, could jump down there. What was that? Oh, a locker. Oh, the same locker. Okay. Not a lot of money or resources, but at least the game doesn't make me uh, hack for it. That's where we came in. Oh, yeah, this is where we have climbed up. Okay, so these are all connected. Three different ways to, to enter. Yeah. Um, well... Okay. Needlessly complex level structure. With very little actually going on. No way it would have worked. Relays can't be damaged, much less destroyed. Those humans will do anything to destroy us, I swear. We have to make this one an example to the others. We can't respond kindly to terrorists. Batarian's talking about terrorists, huh? Human terrorists. That's rich. Okay, they're in there. Um, Alright, this is not a door. Not actually a door, even though it looks like one. Okay, some full on ammo. Let's see here. Okay, this is just open. So I can't sneak up on them? Notice me? Taking cover. Hmm. Actually, I don't know if, um, if that's how this game's AI works. Did, does the AI know I'm here? Oh. Ouch. Oh, that was a close miss. Actually, it was only a miss because of the weird geometry of that chair there. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this is... I did not realize that this was just a corner you could uh, go around. Well, that works. Also, I mean, now we can rest forever. There's a shuttle incoming. Clear the hangar bay. Uh, a shuttle. That's not our shuttle, though, no. No one's getting out. Hmm. Okay. Not exactly sure what's going on. A vehicle lift. I heard an artifact was found in that asteroid belt. Think the humans got it. If they did, they'd have swarmed in and put flags all over it. Probably, yeah. Okay, got a little puzzle here, looks like. What exactly are we trying to do? Well, first of all, we're pushing the one button that's actually working. Oh, okay, now we can use all of them. What, what are we trying to do here? There's... What's that? Down there? Ah. Could I jump down here? I guess I could. So first, what do these do? That lowers it. Very slow. It's a vehicle lift. Oh, that's the vehicle lift. Okay. Um. Right. 
raise the crane. This one moves it back and forth, right? Yeah, this one moves it sideways. Okay. What exactly am I trying to accomplish here? Oh, that. Alright. I can use that to get to the lower level, huh? What's up with that thing? Uh, maybe that's gonna become important later? Right, up there is a locked door. I mean, it's. Red means it can't be opened right now, I know. But maybe it gives me some kind of hint? Nope. Well, then I guess I'm just gonna keep going down for the time being. I just, yeah, I can just jump down like this. And there is another lift control, that's good. Otherwise, it would be kind of difficult to get back up. I mean, not technically for a shepherd who could just easily jump up there, or climb, I mean, actually, any normal human could do that. But maybe with the exception of the exceptionally uh, unsportive me. Our calm buoy intercepts paid off. We picked up a message to the Alliance coming from somewhere in the asteroid belt. We listened to the feed until we discovered an operation run by a human named Kenson. Smuggling engine parts and guidance systems into the system from Omega. We intercepted Kenson's vessel and took her and her people into custody. Interrogation has produced nothing but frenzied rambling so far. Hmm, so Kenson found some evidence of the Reaper attack here and tried to, I don't know, communicate that to the Alliance, which the Batarians this took apparently the for a hostile action. Uh, yeah, if you could not do that, that would be appreciated. Um, yeah. There we go. Well, these these guys are not going to kill her. Oh, and there she is right there. Who's that guy? Could listen to them. She's not talking right now, though. Great attitude. Uh, sorry, Miss Kenson, I'm gonna be coming for you in just a moment. Oh, oh nice. Okay, yeah, this is wait door. Intercom, right. Oh, and this is the door to the room. Okay, let's just yeah, do the intercom first. See if that gives us any additional uh, dialogue here. Obviously, we can't know for sure that she's actually correct in her assumptions or where she's taking that from, but let's assume that she's right. Also, if we could do something like right now, that would be preferable. Right. Who are you? What are you doing? Dr. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. Indeed he has. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. That would be convenient. Then we'll find one. Go. Ready. Okay. Uh, an update. Yes. 
Oh, okay. We need we use that shuttle to escape conveniently. And I'm probably going to have to use the wait. This is, oh, this was previously closed. Was it? I guess it must have. Uh, was there another door? I'm trying to think. It's not. Hmm. Well, I still don't know what's up with that. This is a cell block. Great lift. There should be a security console here somewhere. Yeah. But maybe we're gonna find out. I mean, those that kind of thing doesn't usually exist for no reason. Access is restricted. Yeah. Enter well. authorization code. Oh, hi, hi. Nope, no, oh. cover was was alright. I think I got him. This thing is going to blow. Doing not much at all. Sorry, Doc. I mean to abandon you here. Oh, come on, just stop that. Yeah, I know, it's gonna disorient me, what the hell. Whatever. It's actually not a huge deal at all. Here we go. Burn! Not sure I actually got that first guy. Also, uh, we cannot look at her. We have a squad menu, so I'm assuming that she's only temporary. I mean, yeah, I don't really expect her to, to get her as an active team member. What would be the point, even? Um... I mean, maybe she's a character in Mass Effect 3? I don't know. How tightly this is connected. Deploying flammable! Gotcha! Oh. Nice. <laughs> That's a nice afterment there. Can't see him. There. Any more? No. You for copious ammo supplies. Wow, more than copious. That's almost excessive. Security console. Hey, is this what you want? What you wanted, Doc? Please go ahead. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Yeah, okay, I'm assuming these uh, this glass cannot be broken. Okay, there should be some coming from over there. Oh, that explains why there's lots of gun on here. Hi. Uh, if you could not just run right in here, that would be. We need to close nice. the door we came in through. Keep them out. Yeah. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. Oh, I what? I'm supposed to lock it down. Gotcha. <coughs> Okay, I'm just gonna punch these guys to death. Because why not? Because I can. They're oh. coming up from below. From below. Other side, go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which side? Oh, okay, that's what you meant. Oh, I see. No, what? That was a slick dodge. I'm knocking the hangar. Still need more time. Okay, is there anything I can lock here? <coughs> I... Got me. Dang, it's the first one. That should be okay. Network. It's actually a bit close. Watch the other side. Right. More enemies on the elevators. Say that. No, can I not take cover here? No. Of course not. How oh, silly of me. Oh, that was not a headshot. Did kill him. Okay, if you. Oh, there we go. There's an There's elevator that leads up to the one left, though, right? I'll bring it down to us. Mm -hmm. Done. Done, you say. Uh, I could use a bit more ammo right now. Oh, hi. Okay, whatever. Um. Please don't move hectically, thank you. 
All right. I uh, would like. That did it. Let's oh, yeah. move. Yep. Right with you in a sec. Oh, uh, okay. There you are. Oh, nice. That works. Do not let them escape. So now what? Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old-fashioned way. Leave that to me. The old-fashioned way. Being explosives, door handle. Okay. Hello? Can I shoot your... Uh, well, I can try. Does it work, though? Burn! Grabbing cover. Nope. Bad cover, my friend. I mean, technically, I'm in terrible cover here as well. The AI doesn't know that. There's... An explosive. Okay. We can board the shuttle. We have to break the locks on the bay doors. Right. That's what I thought. Oh. Uh, right. Heads up. Oh. Yeah. Came as a surprise. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> stay in cover, please. So close. Oh no. Almost out of ammo. It's not great. Uh, nice shot. I don't know what he was trying to do there. Maybe preparing to throw a grenade. Also, I'm almost out of heavy stuff. Heavy ammo. Oh, come on. Oh. Please. Deploying <laughs> Please just... Uh, My shepherd. shield is down. Thank you. That was uh, something else. Oh, this is no. no it's, oh, it's just back up automatically. Sure, works for me, I guess. Um, so again, we're trying to do what exactly? There's still that locked door upstairs. I guess we can send this one back down, right? Nope. Totally can't because that's just become an okay. Um, we can blow this up. Oh. oh, okay, so that's half the door open. It should technically be enough. I mean, we, normally we would be able to fit through there, but... Oh, we just do that on both sides. Huh. Really? Is that all there is? So what is up with those crane controls, then? What, what was the point? What's up with that locked door upstairs? Questions. Questions upon questions. I mean, yeah, I can't even go... No, no, I totally can go like that. I'm just curious if there's anything... Oh, it won't let me get back up. Never mind that. Maybe just a red herring? I don't know. There we go. Interesting that just blowing those things up doesn't eternally lock the, <laughs> the doors in place, but opens them instead. Yes. Okay. Good. I was gonna say, wait, why don't we just get in? Where are we standing around for? Oh, okay, that works, I guess. Jeez. Unnecessarily cruel, maybe? Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. 
So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reaper's invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Wow. Um, I mean, it's... I guess it's, uh, it's just Batarians, but... That's a bit drastic. Also, it's not gonna be a final solution, right? I mean, even if it takes months or even years, that's only delaying the inevitable. Hmm. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. I mean, it would, it would appear so. It seems, it seems logical, unless mass relays are built from some kind of material that no one can even understand. It's so far beyond any known technology. Hmm. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful Mass Effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. Well... How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. Hmm. Is the project still operational? I... I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Really? How convenient. How were you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few I mean, days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. Okay, my only choice still is I need more proof than that. Which I suppose is only fair. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. That's true. The evidence came from what we call Object Row. A Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything, and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. What is a Reaper artifact doing on an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. Um, I... yeah, sure. I'm not gonna... deny that. If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? Or have you? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. Hmm. How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. I mean, I do have to see the proof, but I'm still not convinced destroying the the relay is really the best course of action. Because again, not only does it does it kill hundreds of thousands, Batarians or otherwise, but it's also not a solution. It's just, you know, delaying it. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. Yeah, I guess then, I can't argue I'm, with that. I'm not sure I'm going to do it. Kenson to Project Base. Good to hear your voice, Doctor. You coming home? Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. No, I'm just kidding. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. Right. I'll get everything set up for your arrival. Uh, Project Base out. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Relax, she said. Mm -hmm. 
long loading screen, huh? Does that mean a pretty large place? Oh, we'll see. Pretty large asteroid. Yep. Sure enough. I mean, you did call it a planetoid, so that makes sense. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Hmm. How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. Well, if you say so. I wonder what what happens when you sit on this screen for just over two days. Is that a thing? Has someone tried that? Or maybe there are other ways to get the timer to run out, actually. But, I don't know, that would be funny if that, they actually put it in some kind of easter egg or something. Um, because I assume that ultimately we're going to stop the invasion from happening right now. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Mass Effect 3 takes off right right now, basically. Uh, whatever. We're, we're You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Right. Also, power cells, uh, yes. For next entry, cool. Excuse me, Doc, while I pick up some of your resources. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, shipping records? Alright. Let's see here. Reaper Secrets. Ethel Relay. I think we've... have we read this? Planet Arton? I guess we must have that. That probably was... yeah, yeah I think I seem to remember that was unlocked, like, all the way back when we first uh, read the message from uh, Hackett. Okay, Alpha Relay. Discovering the age of a mass relay is not an... Discovering the age of a mass relay is not an easy task. Relays can shield themselves to preserve their integrity down to the quantum level, so taking a sample for analysis proves nigh impossible. Only nigh impossible? Relays also maintain self-cleaning cycles, wiping away potential evidence, though damage or dormancy can cause the cycle to break down, such as is the case of the Charon Relay, which became covered in ice. Right. A breakthrough was recently made by Dr. Amanda Kenson, who revisited old methods of dating the relays by testing dust trapped in their gravity wells. Oh, okay, I guess that works. By comparing the relative velocity of relays to that of the star state orbit, as well as the composition of the dust around the dormant relays against the dust uh, at known locations in the star system, Kensen could create a timeline of when a relay passed through the dust. The result dates the relay back millions of years. Some may even predate, predate the proteins. I mean, you kind of know that, right? Kensen concluded that the oldest known relay is, the bat is in Batarian space, dumped Alpha. It resides near the star Bahak and is unusual in its potential range and versatility. Alpha usually sends and receives mass at the range of a no the range of a normal secondary relay, but if certain uh, if certain controls are adjusted, it becomes powered by an unprecedented amount of dark energy that could send cargo to sixteen other relays and even across a great distance to the citadel. Hegemony authorities have kept this quiet, fearing retaliation from council species who could assume hostile intent if they found a sudden new route into their space. It goes without saying that the Reapers have no such fear. Of course not. Oh, huh. so it is special in some way, in some ways. Object Row, Dr. Amanda Kenson's scientific team has catalogued three major discoveries on the artifact encased in the 157 Golgotha asteroid, or 157 Golgotha asteroid. First, the large artifact is rooted into the core of the asteroid and has a barrier that is similar to, similar to, but much more powerful than a biotic stasis field. This gives it an unnatural resilience to alteration or damage and even 
uh, even prevents state-of-the-art laser drilling from extracting the smallest piece for analysis. Second, the object's interior is energetically active, with the quantum stasis field rivaling that of Prothean technology found in mass relays. Like those creations, it activates in response to threat, at which point the artifact consumes a phenomenal amount of power. Dr. Kansen's team believes the object draws this power directly from dark matter, though how is still unknown. The third discovery is that the object broadcasts signals and information on many different spectra. One such pulse, suspected to be similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, reaches into the Reaper territory. Uh, Reaper territory being like anywhere outside the galaxy, or what do I mean by that? Another broadcast is infrasound, consistent with frequencies that trigger feelings of awe and fear in humans, a known factor in Reaper indoctrination. Kenson's laboratory is filled with equipment dedicated to monitoring any signal coming from the artifact in the hopes that some clue will prove the Reaper's undoing before it's too late. Well, we're gonna see about that. Right. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. You're not gonna come with? Or maybe you will. So it was just in case I wanted I felt like sprinting ahead. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? Oh, so you have not decided that yet. Nice view. I mean, as nice as it could be on this asteroid, I suppose. Did I... Where did I see Profound Palladium? Not that I wanted. Uh, I mean, not that I need it, but I want it. No, seriously, where is it? Oh, right there. Of course. I need to bypass that? Why? That's... what? We Just have to get the project running oh. again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Okay. Hmm, I mean Commander it's pretty. Shepherd, I give you object row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it. It showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. The proof I need that it's trying to indoctrinate everyone around it? Whoa. There must be some powerful vision of it. Okay, I can't let you start the project, Shepard. Uh. I can't let you stop the arrival. Why did you bring me here in the first place, then? It's because you needed the artifact to... to shock me. To be able to... to overpower me in the first place. Take him down! Okay. We've been spotted. Let's go! We've been spotted, yeah. We sure have. Damn. Something also... refilled my ammo? Oh no, I guess I did pick up some ammo. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Um... <laughs> okay. Is there something back there? No, it's just sparks flying. Okay. Oh, ah, oh, goddammit. That was dumb. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got another one of these. I could have played that. That would be preferable. Oh. Alright, I mean, this is honestly not exactly what I expected. I mean, I knew something was not super... What? Oh. Something was kind of fishy about this whole thing. Also, flame floor, flame floor really? Stop that. At least I can stun lock enemies in melee pretty much the same as 
they can stun with me. Wow, that was... Yeah. That drop didn't look exactly intentional, but... Oh. Yeah. We don't want to hurt you, Commander. Lay down your weapons. Yeah, right. Your I guess we're past that point. Oh, final days are at hand. Uh, Object Grove, Big you series. could not also interfere. Uh, well. There. Okay, good thing. Headshot was not necessary. Am I? Uh, what the hell was that? Okay, my aiming oh. cursor just moved on its own. That's a, I guess it's called auto aim or aim assist or whatever. Shield down. Um, right. Okay. If I could not die here, okay, I'm dead. Probably. Uh, I'm somehow not dead. Wait, what? What the hell? Was I supposed to get knocked out? Eventually overpowered? Elusive man? Is that you? No, that's not it. Okay. I don't know why Take I don't him to the med bay and patch him up. Huh. We want Shepard alive. Nice. So I guess there was no way to, to survive that? With more and more enemies coming? Alright. I mean, either way, it's, uh, this is what happened, so I guess I'm gonna accept it, even though, even if there was potentially a different outcome. But it could be a glitch in the system. Uh, uh, Shepard groans. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! <laughs> uh,. You did not really do your research very well. Awesome. Escape captivity. Wonderful. That would normally be a perfect point to end the episode, but I guess I'm going to go on for a little while longer. How can I play that research log through the wall? That makes absolutely no sense, but I'm going to do it. The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. Uh, I mean, you kind of are? I thought that before, but, you know, even before you tried killing me, I don't know what you're actually trying to do to me. Oh, I could've just gone through here. That makes sense, I guess. Step away from the terminal. Why would I do that? Do we have any anything... To make me do it. Nice. Uh, I mean, I feel pretty bad just shooting out like that, but then again, I don't know what they were trying to do to me, but it wasn't good. Also interesting that my controlled mech here is so much more effective than the other mechs. That should be, you know, Exactly the same. Battle systems engaged. Critical system damage. Requesting assistance. I mean, I don't see my max health, so I might actually die. Uh, did I? So something to interact with. Oh, just a door. Gotcha. Power junction, huh? Um, no, no, stay open. Okay. And that blew up the night. That's kind of what I expected. Shepard's escaped. All available personnel to the medical wing. Do not let him activate the project. Right, so I did read that. Okay. Can I pick up some kind of weapon that would be useful? Oh, let's see, data pad. Constantly for two days now, we've had to increase each dosage. It seemed like Shepard was waking up a moment ago, but it could be a glitch in the system. No, oh. no glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Two days, huh? So we're just we're just under three hours, perhaps, before countdown runs out. Search log. Oh, another one. I woke up this morning in a cold sweat. The nightmare was back. The one with the enormous starship crawling through the citadel and all my friends turning to dust. Even now, I can see it in my mind. Why won't this stop? Um, Reaper, perhaps? I don't know, just... Just a thought. 
Now, if I could get my stuff back, that would be awesome. Oh. Well, I, mean, I guess that works. Nice. <laughs> Not much time. I have to get this asteroid oh, moving and get that two hours. out of here. Okay. Alright, I need to reapply this before I forget. Alright, and I'm supposed to go this way? Okay. So what's this way then? Stuff. so much for weird being cautious, huh? About indoctrination. Obviously that that's not how this works. Okay. Um, there. There. That's... Okay, I didn't want to cancel it. Like, out of it entirely. Sorry about that. Up oh, here. being extra careful here. Although this is one of those uh, minigames where you can't actually fail for good. Oh, hi. Alright. A bit more long-range weaponry is in order. And, what? Did something just explode? Oh. Uh, stupid not automatically reloading sometimes. I don't know how many times that's <coughs> thrown me off so far. It's gonna throw me off more in the future. Is there nothing along this corridor? You guys are being really ineffective. Very clearly don't know what you're up against. Okay, someone... Oh, hi. Wait, there's... Oh, there's a... Yeah. Glass or something. Shepherd's in the living quarters. Stay along project control. Whoa. Okay. Stop Shot. Always works. Okay. Good. Some ammo back. Well, a lot of ammo back. No new enemies for now. Could go through there, and I should. Uh, oh, my cards. Wait, there's nothing here? No logs, no nothing? Okay. Hmm. What are you doing there? Exactly. And why did I not hit? This is not a great position to be in. Oh. Well. I don't know why I why I'm having so much trouble aiming at these guys. Are they just moving more? There we go. It seems so fidgety. What? Okay. Jeez. 
Jesus. Okay. Um, we are. Oh, these these yellow panels. I've I've been seeing a few of. Always. Oh, always seem like they have more of an importance than they actually do. Yep. They, I don't know. Maybe I'm just slower than usual, or maybe these guys really not that. I mean, he did manage to throw his stupid grenade. But he's also dead, so... Whatever. Kenson's acting strange lately. Like she doesn't care about the project anymore. I know I'm not the only one having those dreams. The Reapers are coming, she says. But I'm not sure if I'm hearing fear or hope in her voice. Hmm. I mean, I'm assuming that the Reapers really are coming, even if they are controlling her. But, but then again, if the Reapers are controlling her, and it certainly seems like they are, why would they want to make her destroy the Alpha Relay then? There must be something else. But what, what could, what interest could the Reapers have in destroying this Relay? How could that help them? Or do they have an interest in wiping out the Vitarians? Oh, that makes no sense. I mean, these are all things I'm going to learn in time. It's just... We've been spotted. We've been spotted. Yes, we have been spotted. Burn, Shepard. Uh, no. No thanks. <laughs> you can just do a grenade. Another shielded one? Somewhere? Oh. What were these stumbling? Back oh. out of cover. You stop that. You stop it. Okay. Come out. Or don't. Nice. Forward. Hmm, no ammo, huh? The longer we're here, the more I'm convinced that the project must be stopped. We simply don't know enough about what the Reapers want. It's foolish to assume that the Reapers mean doom for the galaxy. Legends say they've come through before, and yet life continues, doesn't it? Wait, wait a second, so, have I been misunderstanding something again? I mean, that's not unprecedented. Actually, oh, okay, so, she's actually trying to stop the project and I'm trying to react as well. I guess that makes more sense, but I'm still, I still don't feel comfortable about doing it. I mean, I guess if you have to, if it's a, you know, Either kill 300,000 Batarians or kill the entire galaxy. I guess if it's really only one or the other with no other choices, then sacrificing the few, even though there are very many in this case, uh, is still preferable to sacrificing control. the many. Get in there now. Uh, They've seen it. Yeah, well, for some reason the game wouldn't let me. <laughs> take cover in such a way that I could have shot the guy. Um, Pyromaniac. God. I don't know why I'm so slow today. <laughs> or if the enemies really are moving faster than they typically are. This guy's are striking so fast. Oh, and I did not realize it was taking that much damage. That's also a factor. So as I was saying, if it really, you know, if it if it's really one one or the other, then destroying the mass relay and sacrificing the Batarians for the rest of the galaxy is is the lesser of the two evils. But 
the big thing, the big shot here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Shepard is taking cover so low here. Because that means that, yep, zooming in, I can't actually zoom in on those guys. That sucks. Well, at least I got that guy. Maybe I should just stay outside here. Um, yeah, the, the big thing is that destroying the mass relay, even if this plan works, just doesn't stop the Reaper invasion. It just delays it, as I said multiple times before. You know, it's sacrificing 300,000 people now in hopes that the, the few months or maybe years that we can delay the Reaper invasion is enough for us to find a way to deal with the entire Reaper arriving, which we won't be able to, to actually stop at that point. Or, I mean, we, I guess we could keep destroying mass relays until they have not a single mass relay to use, but even then, they will come eventually. I mean, assuming they can move at, at close to light speed, it might take them, well, I guess it, it might take them millennia. <coughs> To reach any settled system, but... which is pretty far off. Stop, uh. stop and roll. Oh, I'm out of no shield. Out of good ammo. Gotcha. There we go. Jesus. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, it just doesn't seem like a very, you know, long-term solution because it isn't. And yeah, uh, sacrificing all these batarians just to delay the invasion, hoping that that little bit of extra time will help us find a way to deal with them for good. I mean, I guess if it's the only chance that galactic civilization has to to survive still the same kind of trade-off, but, you know, it's not a sacrifice them to save all of us, it's a sacrifice them to give us a, a tiny slim chance to maybe find a way to save us. Welcome to Project Control. It just doesn't feel good. I want to activate the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Do you wish to continue? Yeah, well, that's the question, isn't it? We don't actually have a say in it. We just activate. Project activation in progress. Warning. Collision with mass relay is imminent. Begin evacuation procedures. Oh, but I have a choice to warn the Batarian columns. Uh, I mean, obviously. If Alert. there is no choice about all whether to do this at all. In the system. Obviously, this is. Shepard, no! Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid, it must be destroyed. Tell me where um. to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. An ESO core meltdown should do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. Not if I get to you first. Come on! Um. Okay, so she's just. <clears throat> she's just still trying to stop this from happening. <clears throat> Because she seemed kind of, I don't know, clear in that little <coughs> transmission just now. No glowy eyes and nothing. Almost seemed like she was trying to say, No, Shepard, you got it all wrong. Uh, we, we need to stop this. Not for the Reapers, but for some other reason that I can't tell you, or... I guess that's not it? Hmm. <sighs> uh, General. No, I'm still trying to her. Uh, trying to her. Trying to stop her. At least we did warn the Batarians. Oh, loading screen.
Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. Um... Well, we don't really have many options here. I've already activated the project. We can still escape this rock. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. What I've done? What exactly are you referring to? I've I done many things. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. Oh. And you will just die. No, never mind. She's just... just as indoctrinated as Damn ever. Damn it, kids. Okay, I was kind of expecting more of a, a level here. But maybe it's just... In war fight, boss fight, or maybe not. So I was thinking about actually ending the episode. Here. Is there some um, real life stuff that I actually I need to take care of right now? Oh, she's okay. She's right there. I mean, there's a chance this thing is going to be over in um, in just a few more minutes. Mm, but I guess in that case, I'm just going to splice this and the next recording together. But I am going to make a cut here. So, uh, yeah, depending on how long this mission uh, ends up being after this. Um, this might or might not be the end of the episode, but you'll see. Uh, I'll see and you will already know, actually. So, uh, anyway, as always, I thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.